Investigators Off the Hook by John Patrick Green. Investigators is copyright by John Patrick Green, and it's published by First Second, an imprint of Roaring Brook Press. Previously on Investigators. You guys should go back to the opera house and work on your rapping. I think you guys would make a really good rap artist now that I have a new body. I need a new identity. Should I become a wrestler? That would be kind of fun. But I would need to have a wrestler name. Something that has to do with me being a crocodile, a cracker, and a waffle. Maybe Wackodile. Huh. Wrestler! <laughs> These guys just went through a very traumatic event. I should be conscious of their mental stability. Tell me why the snake arm man was here now! He wanted to make his doughy body steamy hot. What? Here's the picture. What dial? That's a waffle, not a potato pancake. Waffle dial! This disguise is perfect. I'll totally blend in with all these other human construction workers. <laughs> How did you know? I guess I'll just walk around with circles with a wheelbarrow full of grandpa's back hair. Mm? I was in this episode too. Check it out, I got super chicken. I'm actually a rooster. So you should call me giant? Hypnotize him before he says something R-rated. No, make me something huge. Like a viral internet sensation. If Mark Rober can do it, so can I. I miss Mango. <laughs> what the heck? You kidding me? Oh my gosh. It's Spider-Man. Why doesn't he just stop Cracker Isle? I gotta poop. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid ants. See you on the next ball. What's Mango doing with all of Grandpa's back hair? Mango, you've been hypnotized. No, this construction job just has a better pension. <laughs> Not the kind of rapping I thought you would be practicing, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? Kamehameha me. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how bad that hurt growing that fast. Oh man, now I have to poop. I did it on the way here. And now it's time to end this. Hey, who put the floor in sideways? We gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, I'm not a floor. You idiots! My mother was killed by a floor! That doesn't even make sense. It's time for me to make it big in the big city. <laughs> Oh, I'm Tom Brady. Cracker Dial is back. Now he's a giant waffle dial. Can you believe it, Mango? I thought I was just seeing things. Turns out I was seeing things, but now I'm believing things. Uh, Brash? Slinker is coming too. So is Hookline. I mean, Bill. Who, who am I? You're Bill Plungerman, Ace Plumber. What, what have I done? What have we done? Don't look, Brash! Keep your eyes shut! And breath. The snake! I can hear it in my mind! Don't listen to it, Bill! Unless it's saying to let us go! Don't look at its eyes! Slinker will <laughs> hypnotize you! No! Not. This. Time! Listen to me now! <laughs> We're free! I knew you could do it, Bill. I'm Mango, and this is Brash, by the way. We're investigators. Thanks. I... I think I remember you now, from that waffle place. I know you tried to stop me. I didn't want to rob that bank, or hypnotize anyone, or learn Photoshop just so I could design those flyers. But I couldn't control myself. It's like I was a puppet, and this snake was pulling the strings. Well... We now know that Cracker Dial was the puppet master all along. Speaking of whom, any idea where he'd go? What his plans are? Hmm. All I know is he wants to put together a team that will rival something called Suit. Tailblazers. Tail what? Oh, is it safe, y'all? Dr. Doodledoo. Yes, you can come out now. In fact, you should take Bill back with you to the science factory. Saw. Hopefully the head scientist has figured out a cure for hook, line, and slinker by now. Thanks, investigators. Anytime. Now come on, Mango. We've got a waffle to catch up to. Catch up? On waffles? All the construction workers took off. But what direction did Cracker Dial take off in? We'd be able to see him if it weren't for these tall buildings. Brash, you drive. <laughs> Brash, I see him. Head downtown. We're coming for you, Waffle Dial. <laughs>
This is CC Boring Stories with Action News Now. Still reporting outside the mall. Officer, is there an update in the situation involving the chicken and waffle who escaped the science factory and are reportedly holding hostages inside? <sighs> oh yeah. Turns out it was these teenagers who were holding the chicken and waffles hostage. We're innocent employees. They demanded a ransom of $3.99 or $4.99 for white meat only. That wasn't ransom. Those are the menu prices. We sell chicken and waffles. Ransom, menu price. Either way, it's criminal. Criminally crispy? This drumstick is delish. Johnson, mm. how many times do I have to tell you don't eat the hostages? What the? Is it a My flood? Landing. An earthquake? The snake-armed man? Let's see what the Action News and now helicopter in the sky has to say. Well, CC, I haven't appeared in the book until now, so I should have a lot to say. But what I'm seeing has left me speechless. Here, Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes are made of cornmeal. You're just a plain waffle. Plain? Don't you mean helicopter? Yikes! Come here, you. This is the perfect <laughs> opportunity. Every villain oh will want gosh. to join my team if they see me on the news. Oh? So you want to play chicken with a giant waffle, eh, Brash? <laughs> that was close! Oh! <laughs> Brash! Distract him! I've got an idea! I'm pretty sure I've got his attention! <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere you can run, I won't catch you, Agent Brash. I've got to lower Waffle Dial under that bucket. Ha! <laughs> 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 Told you so. No! <laughs> uh, this is twice in one day you are about to be squished by a giant waffle. Three times if we count when I stepped on the truck. Uh, what's this? Let him go, Waffle Dial! Or what, Agent Mango? You'll pour that concrete on me and turn me into a giant statue. You do that, and your partner here will suffer the same fate. He's right. Forget about me, Mango. It's more important to stop Daryl. I mean, Cracker Dial. I mean, Waffle Dial. For the greater good. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Ah! <laughs> You can't dump concrete on me and save your partner, but let me go, and I'll bark Brash back up. Or, you know, he could come out the other way. Inquiring minds want to know, do waffles have butts? Sometimes there is no good choice, but you still have to make a choice. Mm, I'm sorry, Brash. <laughs> For the greater guy! What? But your partner! <laughs> I just wanted uh, to be stronger than a cracker, but not like this. Any second now, that concrete will harden. This giant waffle and the investigator he swallowed will be statues forever. Suddenly, <laughs> huh? It's hook, line, and slinger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Uh. I feel uh, weird in my... <laughs> Brash! <laughs> Brash! Someone call a doctor! I'm a doctor. A doctor copter. To be precise, I'm not just a news helicopter, but also a skilled brain uh, surgeon, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Jake uh, Hardbones. Uh, 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 uh. Tell me you got that on camera. No, but I did get some pics of these wuggets from my food blog. No one's minding the store. Hashtag free wugs, hashtag nugs for life. Doctor, is Brash gonna be okay? Vital signs are weak. We need to get this Gatorade at the hospital stat. <laughs> well, that's certainly convenient. The emergency is over here! Oh yeah? Well, there's a food emergency in my belly. And at Camerboy64 posted that there were free wuggets. My friend needs to get to the hospital! Stat! And I don't even know what stat means! Okay, okay. Hang in there, Brash! Let's go! Just so you know, somebody owes me some wuggets.
Why are we still under arrest? Haven't you realized that giant waffle on the roof is the one you were after? He's the one that stole the money and kidnapped the chicken. Even us teenagers figured that out. Well, I guess that makes sense. But I hope you kids learned your lesson. You heard it here first, viewers. The snake-armed man turned out to be a good guy. The stolen bank money has been recovered. The waffle has turned into to a stone. And the chicken has presumably been eaten. Hold on, correction. Only the chicken that was on the menu has been eaten, not the one from the science factory. For Action News Now, this is CC Boring Stories, signing off. And we're out. You didn't say anything about our newscopter transforming into a brain surgeon. Oh please, no one's going to believe that. It sounds like something straight out of a comic book. Soon? <laughs> Mango, you can come see him now. Brash! Huh? Brash? Brash? It's me, Mango. Brash? Dr. Hardbones, what's wrong with him? As far as I can tell, nothing. Except he won't wake up. Brash is in perfect health, but there must be something in his mind blocking him from regaining consciousness. But fear not, I, Dr. Jake Hardbones, brain surgeon, will do everything in my power to cure Brash's cranial condition. In fact, I've even called in for backup. The head scientist from the science factory. hey -oh. If you'll recall, way back on page 57, I had the idea to invent a device that can harness the consciousnesses of the plumber and the snake to aid in the separation of their bodies. I was goofing off with the chicken, but I'll take your word for it. I am positive that if Dr. Hardbones and I put our minds together, we can use that technology to get Brash to wake up. Just don't actually put your minds together, because that's how this mess started in the first place. Well, it sounds like Brash's brain is in good hands. Indeed it is, and I should know. My brain has literally been in this man's hands, and I feel smarter than ever. Aw, oh, shucks. Thank you, doctors. Wanna get some luggage? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Take care, Brash. I'll see you soon. Mango, hook, line, and slinker. I mean, Bill Plungerman. Sorry. No, that's okay. Is Brash all right? He's... he will be. Thank you for pulling him out of the belly of that big, bad, breakfasty beast. Well, thanks to the investigators, I'm no longer under that Waffles or Slinker's control. And now I know how to snap out of the hypnosis, so I'll be able to keep from losing my head again. <laughs> There you are? So this is where everyone went. Dr. Doodledoo! Did you get lost? This dude took off into the air when we were supposed to be on our way to the science factory. It took me this long to catch up. I can't fly, you know. I'm a chicken. Sorry about that. For giving you the slip, I mean. Not sorry that you're a chicken. We're cool, brah. I just couldn't let Brash become a statue after saving me. Especially since all this trouble was my fault. I want to make things right. In fact, I might keep this snake arm. The head scientist offered to separate us, but I think there's a lot of good that hook, line, and slinker can do for the world. Plus, this arm will really come in handy when I'm unclogging drains. Huh? I am a plumber, after all. Somehow, I always knew you had it in you to be a good guy, even if the trench coat made it hard to tell. See you around. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Suit Headquarters! Thank you for coming in, Agent Mango. I want to commend you on stopping Cracker Dial. Er, uh, Waffle Dial. Though he is technically still at large, very large, we at least know where he is. And he won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you, sir. But I still feel like Cracker Dial's won. What he, I, did to Brash. Don't be too hard on yourself, Mango. You were faced with a tough decision, and you made the right call. And while Brash is recovering, you are now Suit's top agent. There's a lot of crime out there that needs investigating. Top agent? I don't know, sir. You won't be in the field alone, Mango. For the time being, you'll be paired up with a new partner, just until Brash is back on his feet. New 
partner? I'm proud of you, Agent Mingo. Brash would be too. Now go out there and keep up the good work. Uh, yes, sir. See you, Orb. Are you my new partner? Ha <laughs> ha, no. I wish. <laughs> Sven, Monocle, Eight and Nine, Bongo and or Marsha. Are one of you my new partner? Am I late? I was told Mango is getting a new partner. Cilantro, you must be my new partner. Really? No, Mango, it's me. That sounds like Brash. You can oh. call me Robo Brash. Robo Brash? I built him with help from the science factory. Even though Dr. Hardbones is still figuring out a way to wake up Brash, the head scientist was able to send me downloads of most of Brash's personality and experiences. Then I uploaded them into this robotic copy I made out of spare parts. Robotic copy? But what about the real Brash? No one's given up on the real Brash, Mango. Robo Brash is not a replacement for him. But for now, out of all the other agents in suit, no one would make a better partner for you than Robo Brash. Monocle made the partner, technically. So I'm not his new partner? How about that, eh, Cilantro? Huh? Cilantro? Hmm. You say this robot has Brash's experiences and personality. How can you tell? Well, ask him something. Okay. Robo Brash. What is our primary mission? To serve the greater good. Don't you mean the gator good? What? Huh? No, huh? I do not. Greater good is the correct answer. You should know this, Mango. Perhaps you need to run the training simulation again. Practice makes perfect. Hmm. Yep. That sounds just like Brash. Let's go. Hurry up, Mango. Walk this way. You mean walk like this? What? No. Do not walk like me. But you said walk this way. You know what I meant. Later downtown. Hmm. What's this? Blaze a trail to success. Hmm. This could be big. Very big. The end. That ending made me jump out of my pants. Oh, and speaking of pants, the new book is coming soon. Investigators, ants in our pants. Oh, I can't wait to get my arms on that. It's coming out soon, September 28th, and you can pre-order it right now if you click the link in the description below. And if you want to get the collection of Investigators, book one, two, and three, there will also be links in the description below. Collect the whole thing for crying out loud. Thanks for watching make sure you leave a like on the video post a comment subscribe and hit the bell we'll have more videos out soon so beware okay love you goodbye